everybody and welcome back to my channel. I have got another mini haul video here. I'm going to show you everything that I have bought from Cass Arts. I put in my order a little while ago and I am going to show you everything that I have bought. I am so excited about this one and I hope you will enjoy all of the items that I have bought. Okay, let's open this box up to show you what I have bought. So this is actually my very first time ordering from Cass Arts, so I have no experience of using them before buying these items. So it looks as though they have added a bit of paper in here to protect the items. There's a bit of a hole in the box here, as you can see, and it was delivered by Hermes. So some of the items are in this sort of expandable brown paper packaging. I just picked up some of their gesso because I have got some canvas boards that I need to prime and I thought I would try out their gesso. It's actually a really good price on their website. So for one litre of the gesso by Cass Arts, it cost me £10.95, which I thought was a really competitive price. So the Castle Art Gesso is a one litre tub of gesso and it's a white primer for a wide range of surfaces including canvas, wood, paper or board and this particular one is semi-absorbent, slightly textured ground for oil and acrylic based paint or mixed media applications. It offers excellent coverage and it is touch dry in up to an hour so I thought for this it would be really good because I am quite impatient sometimes. Okay next up I've got a few little items in here. This haul isn't enormous, I haven't gone absolutely mad from Cass Arts, I've just got a few items that I wanted to try out. I have got four different greens by Liquitex. I've gone for some more of the heavy body acrylics. I've got four different colours. We've got four different colours of greens because as you might know I really enjoy painting Botanics. So I'm going to swatch those Liquitex paints and give you an idea of what those colours are like and if you want to purchase anything I'll pop links in the description box so you can go and check out those items. I will link them in Jackson's because if you purchase on Jackson's and you use my link you can get 10% off of your first order and also I will receive a very very small commission which will be at no extra cost to you. At the time when I bought these Cass Arts had a discount on each of the Liquitex paints and they all cost me $5.95 each so I went for Liquitex. I've had a bit of experience with the Liquitex but I would quite like to buy some golden paints. I picked these ones up just because they were slightly cheaper with the offer. So I've got the Thalo Green which which is from their series one. I've got the bright aqua green and again this one is from series one. The emerald green series two and I've also got the viridian hue permanent. I'm going to start with the bright aqua green. Next up I'm going to try the emerald green. This one is slightly transparent. It's not as opaque as the others. You can see the difference between the opacity with this one and those two. And then the last one that I have is the Viridian Hue Permanent. So those are the four greens that I have purchased from Cass Art. Now like I said I bought them because I'm wanting to create some botanical paintings. The next item that I've bought from Cass Arts is this Karen Dash Luminance set of colouring pencils. I have wanted to try these for quite some time and they're quite expensive but Cass Arts had a good sale on at the time that I purchased the pencils. They were $49.95 for 20 pencils. I did consider buying a larger pack of the pencils but I just thought I'd go for the 20 pack for now, see what I think and if I like them, if I enjoy them, then I can purchase other colours. I know on Jackson's you can purchase these separately so you can buy individual pencils and I might go that route if I like these. That way I'm not dictated to the colours that are in a set, 
I can branch out and select the colours that I specifically want and know I will use. And I'm going to test these out against some of my other colouring pencils to see what I think and I will let you guys know my thoughts and absolutely everything about these colouring pencils. I'll do a whole detailed video just about this 20 set of colouring pencils to give you a higher in-depth look at this 20 set of pencils. So if that sounds like something you are going to be interested in and make sure you hit that subscribe button because you don't want to miss out on this video. I'm going to go ahead and take the plastic film off of the colouring pencils and then you can get a look at what the packaging is like and also the colouring pencils. So the packaging does feel really nice. It feels luxurious. It's in a cardboard box, but I know you can get larger packs of these pencils, which then come in a wooden box, but they do cost obviously a lot more money. And then each of the colouring pencils sits within this foam here. So I'm really, really pleased with this purchase. I know that these are going to be absolutely fantastic colouring pencils and I'm going to really enjoy using them. So these are really nice pencils. They are expensive, but if you are looking to expand your art business and you would like to invest in good quality colouring pencils that are not going to fade, with exposure to light, then these could be a really good option for you. So that was my entire mini haul. I'm so excited about getting stuck in with those Karen Dash colouring pencils and also my new Liquitex paints, which I have got plans for already. So make sure you subscribe so you don't miss out on those videos. If you have enjoyed today's video, make sure you give it a big thumbs up. Also make sure you subscribe so you never miss out on any of my future videos and I will see you in the next one. Thank you so much for watching. Bye guys.